The sale of JEA is off for now. Mayor Curry is asking the JEA board to vote to end the process of finding a private company to buy the city-owned utility. News 4 Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley is live outside the utility headquarters downtown tonight. And Kelly, he told you the public's trust of the process led him to decide now is the time to end the talks? Right. After a week full of bombshells about the potential sale of JEA, the mayor is asking JEA's board of directors to end the entire process. City council members say they're done talking about it, but they will continue to dig into how JEA and city officials conducted themselves. The controversial sale of JEA may be over. The mayor of Jacksonville saying in a news conference he's asking JEA's board of directors to put an end to the sale of Jacksonville's largest public utility. The way that the process unfolded, there were missteps and um, the public's views just eroded. And so I see that. I feel that. I hear that and it's time to stop it. JEA's invitation to negotiate process came under fire after the city council auditor discovered a bonus plan that could have paid out hundreds of millions of dollars to top level JEA executives if the city owned utility was sold. Much more than the $3.4 million estimate provided to board members, according to the city council auditor. State attorney Melissa Nelson told News for Jax her office is and has been looking into matters involving JEA. Do you think that there might have been any activity that was illegal going on? So the ITN process, uh, look, the ethics officer is in the middle of this. The inspector general's in the middle of this. It's okay. I've talked to council members. This you can go through an ITN process. Um, the question is uh, the performance unit plan. I think that uh, that needs to be looked more closely at. It, clearly, that raised a whole lot of flags. Uh, all of us, when we saw that, it, it was it, it, it appeared outrageous. But the ITN process, in and of itself. Um, we can do that. Our, our city charter allows the JEA to do that. Incoming City Council President Tommy Hazuri says while the sale in their eyes is over, the investigations into the process of the sale are still happening. We're not stopping. We're digging. We're going to see what lies beneath and uh, we'll get a handle on that. But while we're doing that, we're not dealing with any sale of the JEA. Well, next comes the city council. They're planning to vote on a resolution that calls for the end of the sale for JT, JEA. But also we're hearing about an emergency meeting, a special board meeting with JEA's board of directors that will happen early tomorrow morning. We haven't been told exactly what's going to be discussed, but obviously top of mind is what Mayor Curry announced today that he's calling for the ITM process to be done. We're going to be at that meeting tomorrow.